Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be explaining Optimal's lazy loading feature. And lazy loading is basically loading images when needed by the browser versus loading them immediately when the page opens. Now in Optimal, if you want to enable lazy loading, go to the settings tab, then go to the second option which says scale images and lazy load and turn that on. Alright, so this is how we enable lazy loading in Optimal. Now if we go to the advanced tab and go to lazy load, we'll find options that give us more control of the lazy loading function. If you turn on the first option, you'll be enabling the generic lazy load placeholder. So by default, Optimal will use a low quality representation of the image being lazy loaded. And turning on this feature will cause that low quality representation of the image to be replaced with a generic transparent placeholder. All right, now the next option lets you exclude the first X images from lazy load where X refers to a number. So right now it's set to three by default. And that means that on this page, for example, the first three images are excluded. So they are not going to be lazy loaded. Now, if we were to go back and change this number to zero, that means the images will no longer be excluded and they'll be lazy loaded. Okay, now the next option lets us enable the native lazy loading function. This is offered by browsers and it generally has a better performance compared to JavaScript based lazy loading, which Optimal offers. And JavaScript based lazy loading provides more flexibility, supports a wider range of browsers and offers additional features such as auto scaling. So for example, if you decide to use native lazy load, you will lose that auto scaling function. All right, so that takes us to the next option, which is scale images. So if this option is turned on, images will be scaled automatically on lazy load, but if it's off, the function will be disabled. The next option simply lets us enable lazy loading for background images. And the next one allows embedded videos and iframes to be lazy loaded. Moving down, we have an option called enable no script tag. And basically this helps browsers that cannot handle optimal based features load fallback images. All right, now the final option lets us enable lazy loading for background images by adding their CSS selectors to this field. Once you're done, click on the save changes button. So now I'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you how you could determine whether or not an image has been lazy loaded. I'm gonna go back to this website and let's start by refreshing the page. Okay, so as you can see, we have some images here. We're just going to go ahead and inspect one. And all we need to do is look for this parameter, data opt lazy loaded equals true. So this means that this image was in fact lazy loaded. We can also go ahead and take a look at the next one to see if it was lazy loaded. Yes, this one was as well. And if we were to go back and set the excluded number to something like six, Let's see what happens. We'll set this to six and we'll scroll down and save our changes. Now, if we go back to the site and refresh the page, we'll stay in the inspect window. And if we look, we'll see that the lazy load parameter is now gone. All right, so that's how you check to see if your images have been lazy loaded. The final lazy load option we are gonna explore is in the exclusions tab, which we can find right here. Here it says don't lazy load images if, and then we have a menu to select options to build our filter. So we have image class, page URL, image extension, and file name. So for example, if we type in berries, then an image with the file name containing berries will not be lazy loaded. And of course you can create your own filter using any of the other options in this menu. All right, so I really hope this helped. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you next time.